Hey guys, Jody, how you doing? Um, just want to do a Red Cat review today. Um, I just got the Blackout SC, uh, it says one tenth scale, but um, I got it to basically to replace my associated um, Pro SC one tenth because. Um, of course, Associated discontinued it, and they quit making parts, so can't get parts now. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I'm getting on the Red Cap bandwagon, you know, with the Gen 8 and stuff like that, the Kaiju and things like that that they got coming out, and uh, when to go. So I'm thinking, okay, I'll get this, and you know, it'll be a good replacement. I mean, the car, the truck looks nice, and it's got really nice body, you know, looking, it's smaller compared to the, when you do like wheelbase, it's definitely smaller than the uh, Associated, but, um, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess, but, but um, I don't know, just kind of, kind of weird. Um, I like that it's got some aluminum parts. It's got aluminum uh, rear and front shock towers. Um, but they're very small. You can't extend them out, do anything, you know, to change your shock geometry or anything like that. You can only go down to one hole, which will basically just change your height, basically. Um, same thing on the back. Um, there's two holes in the bottom, but they go down and, you know, just change your shock angle a lot. But I do like, you know, I mean, the shocks seem, you know, fairly, fairly decent. Um, they unfortunately do have plastic caps. Um, this weird bumper, I don't know what that's supposed to be. I mean, that is flimsy as hell. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's, it's not bad from what I've seen. I mean, I like, it comes with a fan. Um, the servo saber on here, though, I don't know about. I may have to definitely do something different with that. That's kind of, from what I can see, um, definitely, I don't know. Let's have to see what happens on that. Um, it does have, you know, brushless motor, um, which, I mean, I, I took it out and I ran it out here in the driveway of the apartments, and it's fast. Uh, the front bumper, that's a joke. Um, I really hope there's more aftermarket parts or whatever for it. Um, the tires, there, I don't really know yet. I mean, on the pavement, they were... I don't, I don't really know. Um, my verdict's still out on this truck. Um, <coughs> I, uh, I'm going to take it tomorrow when I go to work, and I'm going to take it to our club track and run that. Um, but I don't know. I, I hope I didn't waste my money on it. What I may end up doing, it's real kind of touchy on the steering, and... Uh, I'll see what it does on the track. It does come with a um, Hexfly 3200 battery and the standard, you know, Red Cat uh, radio, um, you know, which is nice, but ready, ready to run. Um, but I'll take it to the track tomorrow and uh, see, you know, what it feels like there. Um, and just go from there. I mean, I really hope, you know, it wasn't a waste of money, but um, it is smaller than the normal Traxxas and associated one-tenth scale. Um, but it seems pretty quick. Definitely had plenty of speed and everything like that. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I'd, we'd get our, our racing club, um, yeah, you know, I got my associated, and it's like I said, they unfortunately are getting part on parts to find in that, and uh, 
I may have to end up doing if this thing handles the way it seemed to handle on the uh, on the black top. I may end up having to just put a gyro deal in it and see if that makes it any better. Um, that's what I ended up doing on the associated because the associated handle was so crappy. Shock changes, tire changes, you name it, I've done to it. And I ended up finally getting a Traxxas uh, radio and the uh, TSM receiver. And uh, just so I could race it with the guys in our club because it was horrible. So, you know, that may end up being what happens with this. I don't know. I want to try to run it without it and see what it does. But, um, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know more after tomorrow. But, I mean, you know, it, it, it's a nice truck. And, you know, let's say I'm trying to get the, the Red Cat. You know, I'm kind of getting on their, their bandwagon with some of their new stuff. The Windigo, that looks really awesome. Um, it's just that there was another short course truck I wanted to get. It was Red Cat. And evidently, and it was really, I think, a better quality truck than what this is. But it, um, unfortunately, evidently, they discontinued it because I can't find anything about it. But, um, you know, like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. It's, it looks like the front and rear, um, it, it's kind of funny because at the front and rear, they both have, um, like tie rod ends on both ends of the, uh, the, uh, where the bearing carrier is, and then the control arms um, look like they interchange front to back, which that's cool. Um, but like I said, it's just kind of just have to wait and see what it does, see how it handles, and kind of go from there. But right now I'm kind of got my hopes up, but I'm not gonna really put a whole lot of money into it or whatever and basically it's got it to just kind of bash around our local track and you know our club track we just got a local club and uh you know a few guys get together and go run so but um anyway like i said i just wanted to um throw a little review out there because there's not much on this that i've seen um and like i said for i think it was 239 at Tower Hobbies. You know, it's not bad, ready to run. Comes with a little AC charger. Um, and the battery actually <clears throat> um, is the same size. Kind of funny, but it, in the end, it's the same size as my 5200, uh, which fits in there just fine. So, um, I don't know. Just, uh, I'll let you know more as I find out, you know, how it runs and stuff like that. And like I said, I may end up just buying a, a um, a, uh, oh, Traxxas radio with the TSM and put that in it and, you know, then go from there and see what it'll do. But, um, so far we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, have fun RCing and all you stay safe out there now. Bye.